Have you ever tried to create your own fantasy calendar and perhaps struggled to arrive at something meaningful? Well, today we will discuss some guideposts for creating a calendar for your own fantasy setting and also how it can actually enrich your setting with events and holidays. Let's get into it. Hi guys, my name is Jesper and welcome to the Fame of Fantasy. This channel is all about giving you inspiration to master your craft and create fantasy that will truly immerse your audience. When building a fantasy world, I find it important to remember that the creation of a calendar adds a unique flavor to your setting. Calend calendars could, of course, differ per culture in your world, but uh, for the sake of this video today, we will focus on one general calendar shared by everyone. Now, since this is a fantasy, there is no specific reason why you would have to resemble uh, our real world calendar. I mean, you, you could have you could have a different number of months at different uh, with different names to each one. Uh, or even change the number of days per month. However, if a calendar is to make any sense, it's best to keep it reasonably familiar. So don't start changing the seasons and above all, do not ever change the way time is calculated. A second is a second and a minute should always stay a minute and so forth. There is nothing more confusing for your audience than when it needs to be explained that an hour is not really an hour, but it's like um, 85.5 minutes instead. You know, just don't go there. Too large of a change draws excessive attention to itself and it becomes an annoying intrusion rather than uh, enjoyment. Just as in the real world, calendars should be used to track the passage of time over long periods and uh, often that would be based on astronomical events. So uh, you, you could base your calendar on solar, lunar or other celestial cycles. Uh, but you could also look into having magic at the center of time. Perhaps magic in the world comes and goes and that defines what time what time looks like and how time is tracked. So let's get into crafting a calendar. A calendar obviously needs to look both forward and backwards in time. And uh, it's good to consider how you are going to measure longer periods of time. You could count the number of years since creation, since a historical or religious event or some great tragedy. And I would advise to, to count such things in years. So such events alone give you a world building element that you can expand upon. So if time is calculated from a great cataclysm, you can let that influence your, your world and the cultures and uh, build from there. In general terms, though, a year consists of a number of days grouped together. And uh, as mentioned, it's up to you. Uh, to which astronomical event you want to tie a year. Um, but at the end of the day, the duration of a year is determined by the sum of days in the month. So let's look at month for a second here. In fact, the number of months that you uh, decide upon is largely irrelevant. But again, I recommend to stick to the seasons as this gives a useful degree of familiarity and uh, what that means is that uh, targeting between 10 and 14 months to equal a year is your best option. Otherwise, it does become difficult to, uh, to map it all out with the seasons, unless, of course, you have very long winters or, or summers, for instance, but uh, it can be done. Uh, but as, as I always preach, uh, unless there, are, there is a very good reason for changing it, then stay fairly aligned with the real life and uh, then uh, work from there with, with some twists on it instead. 
when it comes to the number of days that comprises a month uh, and thus also a year, you don't have to follow our real life method of having 365 days in a calendar year. In fact, 365 days are not very easily dividable into seven day weeks. So as a world builder, you have the option to simplify. You could, for instance, use 360 days as your full year, because that gives you 12 months with 30 days in each. And from there, you could break it down into six five days weeks or three 10 day weeks. I think the dealing with shorter numbers just makes it much easier. Well, enough about numbers. Let me tell you a funny story instead, as it underlies very well why you might want to steer clear of uh, reality here when it comes to creating calendars. So take the Gregorian calendar, which is the most widely used civil calendar today. It's based on a system originally uh, used by the Romans that was a complete other mess. That one began on the 1st of March and then it had 10 months. It was 304 days long, followed by an unnumbered winter period. The thing is that the calendar was heavily manipulated by politicians who inserted days or even months when they had something to uh, gain from it. So in uh, 45 BC, Julius Caesar had enough and he instituted reforms to create the Julian calendar, which didn't allow for being altered for personal or casual reasons like that. The Julian calendar was then later corrected by Pope Gregory VIII, because that was inaccurate too. I think we can do better than that for our fantasy world, and often simplicity is better. Just keep a year between 300 and 400 days, and there will be no need to adjust much in terms of aligning it to the seasons. When looking at fantasy world calendars, they are mostly concerned with uh, marking events which I already mentioned before, but, uh, but if you spend a bit of time on holidays and festivals, you can give your world a very interesting twist. Uh, it may be that the calendar marks the date where it's prophesied that a great tidal wave will bring doom to all. <laughs> I know, I, I always tend to go dark with things, I'm sorry. But oh, okay, so on a more happy note then, you could have a celebration for each of the seasons and uh, make it unique and compelling in its own right. If you root stories to your festivals that uh, kind of bounce it together with the gods or perhaps to the creation of the world, that is a great way to lift your audience out of their chairs in uh, pure wonder. Think of customs too. Is there any special clothing worn, uh, activities like dancing or, okay, I, I can't help myself, but maybe a dark ritual. I just want to throw in a dark ritual as well. Every world should, but at least have two holidays. Actually, I'm curious to know what kind of a calendar you have created yourself or just come across and uh, what stood out to you? Why was that so uh, impressive or immersing? Um, with that particular calendar that you, you've seen. So uh, drop your input in the comment section below. I think your calendar should fulfill the functions that a calendar would in the real world. It, it should provide your audience with the ability to predict the arrival of uh, future events that are important. Otherwise, uh, honestly, there, there is no need to create a calendar in, at all. If you just don't mention anything about how time or dates passes, then no one will really concern themselves with it either. That said, if you can make the calendar truly reflect your setting and make it matter to the story, you are telling, then it can definitely be a very powerful tool to leverage. I've seen a ton of settings where a person's age was measured by the number of uh, winters or summers he or she has lived. But what if winters aren't what 
is the important factor in marking a year. Well, think about it. What what if the if a red moon rises every second year and you reach adulthood when you've witnessed its return seven times? Isn't that way cooler? I think so. And hey, if you uh, if you like it too, then uh, hit the like button below and uh, share this video with a friend. I think I will leave it at that for for the time being. Uh, Make sure to get the exclusive download via the link on the channel banner. And uh, I would also love to see you over on uh, Patreon. There is a link here on the on the screen. And uh, for less than the price of a Big Mac, you can get into the reward program. If this is your first time here, then uh, do make sure to subscribe for weekly fantasy videos. Stay safe out there and see you next Monday.